My name is Patrick Forsberg. I run Stiller Studios uh, in Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, I started Stiller Studios back in 1992. Stiller Studios has always been in the forefront when it comes to technology. We are early adopters if not even inventors. We say that we are about 50% technology and 50% storytelling, and we are not afraid to try out new technologies. That has helped us a lot on the way. We started out with traditional workflows, everything in Maya, everything the way we used to do it way back. But with limited resources and limited time, I was looking for a tool that could speed us up. We've had previous experience with uh, iClone. We started out maybe five or six years back. It was not filling its purpose for us back then, but when I started to look into it with my colleagues here, uh, I got really impressed. iClone 8 and uh, latest character creator made a whole big difference. So I called the guys uh, at Relution and they pointed me to Anthony who has been super. He came over, we talked about it, talked about our needs, talked about what we wanted to do and Anthony showed us a couple, couple of possible ways and all of a sudden we were producing. I'm Altan Sebiktekin, I'm the virtual production supervisor at Still Studios um, and I also do previous supervision as well. Basically uh, not in terms of lead volume visual production, but more like camera tracking, motion capture and real-time engines combined together. This project is going to be unique uh, in its uh, style and workflow. It is uh, a motion capture, a performance capture project to be rendered in Unreal. And uh, we think that the, the, the story is sitting very well into that style but it but it requires a lot of research and it's a challenging task to to make it appealing as possible for the kids we, we, we come a long way i believe uh, i think that the best thing about iclone and and uh, character creator is that even though it's a very competent program that can take you all the way it's fast to learn and it's fast to get the visuals out that you want. I've done a lot of animation back in the days uh, and as a director it's frustrating because you sit down uh, with your animators, you try to tell them what it is you're looking for, then you walk away, two weeks later you have what they thought you were talking about and, and uh, usually you run out of time. The fantastic thing with iClone Character Creator and the Unreal workflow that we're having right now is that we can shoot on a Monday, then we just export it into Unreal on the Tuesday, and Tuesday night I have all my shots. I go straight into my editing session, and there we are. It's, if not faster, at least as fast as traditional shooting. I think one of the most strongest uh features in the religion pipeline I'm talking about all the tools in, in, uh, in general and together is the character creator and with CC4 and the help of Gozi workflow now it is possible to create likable cartoon characters as well not only realistic characters but also cartoon characters and we had really good results uh, with the character creation Character design has been awesome. We have been working with Anthony in England. He's very, very good. He's very, very helpful. But also my team has learned very fast how to use all the tools. And also being able to go from an idea or a sketch to an actual working character in less than a day has been awesome. It's been creatively very, very, very good for us because we can look at it, we can change things, we can try it out. Another thing that's been really good to us is that if we just decide sizes, body lengths, uh, all the bone structure, then we can be working on our characters all along as we are shooting down in the studio. Uh, when using iClone on the floor, motion capture shoots, I think one of the greatest features is the uh, facial capture retargeting, real-time retargeting tools, 
where you can uh, tweak the incoming performance so it looks better and better on, on the character and recording them live in sync with body and having them available right after the shoot for editing is quite beneficial. If you compare that to hand animation, the process really is really fast and iterative, I would say. We, we record the pacing we had in, in our minds based, our, based on our uh, animatic, but then we can instantly see if there's something not working well or could be uh, improved and then we can just directly shoot again or hand it out to the animator to do fixes, which is uh, beneficial for the production, uh, both creatively and in other ways, I believe. I think for all filmmakers, this fast way of working is most beneficial in terms of the ease of iterating ideas. Uh, you try something, it didn't, it didn't work, and you try another thing right away. You replace them, you play with your cameras, you write the thing, and then uh, iterate until, until it starts working. Is the way to go when you're working in iClone, I believe. Same with the character creation. I mean, there is not much you have to redo and redo if you want to change something for your character. With the ease of rigging and skinning based on the results, uh, of, of your capture, you can quickly see how oh, this feature of this character is not really working, but then, okay, we can change this, and in just one day, uh, you can have the other character ready for tests, which is amazing, basically. The setup that we have uh, is unique in a way that we have created all the environments, all the assets, we have created or all the characters. And once we have done that, we just go down on the floor and we look at this as if it was a traditional live action film. Only that the actor on the floor is driving our 3D characters. And at the end of the day, we can get three, four, five, even six minutes down in one day and we look through it as our dailies. And the animation is good enough to start setting up your cameras, telling your story and minimize all the work that's going to come later on. So what we do is we try to serve the story with as much material as possible. Then we go in to traditional editing where we tell the story with, with really good editors. Once we've done that, then we go back to the animation workflow. I find traditional animation workflows very limiting, where you have to decide exactly what frames you want to be working on early on in the process, or a lot of time and a lot of money will be lost. In this case, we can play around, we can be creative, and, and, and we can get a lot of material out before we start editing and before we start putting a lot of time on each frame. Stiller Studios loves technology that makes storytelling faster and more creative, more engaging and more fun to play around with. And I think that's what iClone and CC4 is doing, for me at least and for the company as such.